Welcome back, you little wieners. So a lot of people tell me and gay black griffin that we use so-called voice changers for our impressions. And what's a voice changer then, you may ask? Well, neither me or Gabe actually know. And the people commenting don't seem to be sure either. Some people will say, Uh, it's a voice changer in the microphone. You know, one of those microphones everyone has that make you sound like famous singers. While others will say, He changed his voice in the computer. If only I had a voice changer program, I can make a video like this easy peasy. Anyway, so in order to entertain this idea, I thought I would try to find the best vocal changers I could get my hands on and try it out, see what I can do. Let's do it. So I've recorded a little bit of singing here, nothing special, especially not lyrically. Well, you know I'm not the same. Change my hair and change my name. Wearing all your favorite brands, yeah. Come on, babe, I got big hands. So that sounds like me, unequivocally me. There's no Justin Bieber. It doesn't sound like Beyonce. It doesn't sound like uh, Eminem. I don't know. Uh, so let's see what we can do. First off, I have this plugin that was actually sent to me by Beyonce's vocal producer, DJ Swivel. Uh, we were gonna film something together, but then I got busy. However, let's have a look at what we can do with it. It's called The Sauce. It's got a bunch of different controls and everything's kind of like food related. Whenever I use this plugin, I get hungry. You got recipes are kind of like the presets. So let's try out some presets. You got, for example, vocals fifth serving. Let's have a listen. Girl, you know I'm not the same. I should say that this plugin is not necessarily built as a voice changer, but more like an overall mixer for vocals. And one of the things that's really crazy is that you can have different types of formats and pitches on different parts of the vocal, which is very crazy. So for example, if we take the very bottom of the vocal over here, I can take just that, which is just, you know, the lowest frequencies of the vocal and pitch that down. But on top, this other stuff, I can pitch something else like. So it's not at all like having a dub that you pitch. It's like you're just pitching specific parts of the frequency spectrum. And I think that's really cool. And you can also do that, you know, independently on the multiband. I'm going to turn off the multiband for now. It makes things really advanced. Oh, you know I'm not the same. Pretty cool distortion there. We got some sugar, whatever that is. Oh, you know I'm not. That sounds like some chorus or like doubling. Stereo spread. Oh, you know I'm not the same. Sounds good. What else we got? We got some delay, reverb, you know, some compression right here. Oh, you know I'm not. And I think this is this is reverb. Oh, you know I'm yeah. Not. Definitely changing the character of the vocal, but not necessarily making me sound like a different person. You got the typical pitch stuff though, which, uh, you know, can make you sound like a different person. Uh, so we can make my voice a little bit lower. Well, you know I'm not the same. And I would say that that's something you could potentially use if you wanted to do an impression and you couldn't really get your voice down. I think you can only do it for a little bit though before it starts sounding really weird, like change my head and change my name. That just sounds like a robot now. Let's see if we can make a female voice. Oh, you know I'm not the same. It's hard. It doesn't really sound like a girl, I think. Change my hair and change my name. I mean, it sounds like a Smurf girl, if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, really cool plugin. You can use that for all of your mixing needs for vocals. Thank you for sending me that, Mr. Swivel. I hope to make a video with him later and, and talk to him about some secret things they do in the studio with people like Beyonce and DJ Swivel. He's worked with BTS. I think he's worked with BTS on their upcoming stuff. Jay-Z, Kanye West. So yeah, really cool guy. I'm gonna see you soon, dude. That is a threat. Anyway, Let's try some other things. Here's a voice changer called Manipulator, and this one's crazy. This one probably has like the most weird changes that I've seen in any plugin. Change my hair and change my name. I mean, yeah, it sounds a little bit robotic, but that definitely does not sound like me. That sounds totally different. Let's see what else we can do. <laughs> I mean, that takes uh, everything down an octave, but it sounds so good. I would say what people usually use for that type of thing is autotune, but it sounds so good. Honestly, like if I need to do a bunch of pitch up and pitch down stuff, I'd probably use this. Ah, this middle module is really cool. It sounds like it's like a ring modulator or something. I don't know of any singers that sound like that, but that sounds so awesome. Baby. <laughs> this one makes me sound like the very famous singer, the devil, known for hits such as Rihanna. Well, you know I'm not the 
time. Oh, that's pretty. It sounds like a uh, phaser, but like it made the top end of my vocal really smooth. <laughs> I think this plugin in particular is very good at making things sound really wide as well. It's so good at so many things. Okay, so I just had an idea on how you could probably actually make yourself sound like a different person a little bit with this. Because obviously this is too much, right? Oh, you know I'm not. But what you could do, potentially, is record in a higher key than what you're going for. And then pitch down maybe like, let's see what sounds natural. Come on, babe, I got big hands. That kind of sounds like a real person, not gonna lie. So basically just record maybe like two semitones over and then pitch it down so actually that could make me sound like i had a bigger voice it probably works in the other direction as well just like a little bit maybe like couple notes up oh you know i'm not the same i guess that doesn't sound good <laughs> uh this is a really cool plugin let's move on so actually another thing that i wanted to try which i found a couple of plugins for spoken stuff which is a lot easier to do bigger things with because you can actually pitch a little bit up and down and stuff like that and work more with pitch right i recorded this speaking thing uh it sounds like this hello everybody this is your captain speaking i have to mention to you by law that there is a person with a peanut allergy on the flight so you are not allowed to eat any snickers any pb and j's basically nothing delicious is allowed on this flight and you know i cannot say that whatever eat it anyway and whatever happens to them happens because you know what a killjoy but if you would happen to do it it's just how would we know who it was how would we know no one would know so you know have a great flight. Great stuff, great comedy right there. There's a couple of plugins I wanted to try on talking. One of them is called Wormhole. And it's kind of made for the movie industry, I think, but it can really change your voice a lot. Like if you want to prank your friends, whatever, like on TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever, maybe this is the plugin for you. Let's have a listen to this voice changer. Big Creature One. Hello everybody, this is your captain speaking. I have to mention to you by law that there is a person with a peanut allergy on the flight. I I think they have crazier ones. Let's see. I have to mention to you, Hello, everybody. This is your captain speaking. <laughs> it made me mumble. That's interesting. I've never heard a plugin make me mumble before. This is great for like video games or movies and stuff. Or pranking your friends, obviously. Or um, kidnappings. Don't use it for kidnappings. Promise me by smacking the like button that you will not use this for kidnapping. If you don't like, then the police can find you because you didn't like the video. Then they'll be like, oh, you watched this video, but you didn't, you didn't click like. That means you're a kidnapper. So slap like right, right now. Have a great flight. Oh, it sounded like the robot from Borderlands. Hello, everybody. This is your captain speaking. I mean, not exactly, but like towards the end here. Have a great flight. That sounds like the robot from Borderlands. Come on. This is like the uh, voice from Five Nights at Freddy's, right? I'm calling from a crappy telephone. <laughs> You're the new night shift. I don't remember what he says. Hello? This is slightly different. Still a bad telephone. This preset is called Alien TV Set. So the weather tomorrow will be 500 degrees and cold. You will need acid rain umbrellas and some blasters. Just, you know, to kill some humans, whatever. So this is a ghost? I am the ghost of everyone you wronged, J Station. Stop your awful YouTube videos right now. Get off the platform and get a real job. Thank you. So there's another thing that I wanted to try. It's called iTrax. And the interesting thing about iTrax is that it's kind of pretty good at pitching things up and down more believably, I think. Let's have a listen. So I set it to man spoken voice and it goes out as maybe woman spoken voice. Hello, everybody. This is your captain speaking. I have to mention to you by law that there is a person with a peanut allergy on the flight. It's pretty cool. It's not super close to a woman, maybe. How about a boy? Hello, everybody. This is your captain speaking. I have to mention to you by law that there is a person with a peanut allergy. A little vibrato. Okay, so that's one of the things this one does funny. I think you can sound like an old man too. It's like, maybe if I add more depth here, it'll make it sound like, like an old man. To eat any Snickers, any PB&Js, basically nothing delicious. <laughs> yes, that vibrato makes it sound like an old man. Okay, and this adds breathy, I guess. I have to mention to you by law that there is a person with a peanut allergy on the flight. I mean, it sounds a little bit weird. Maybe I'm not that good at, at setting this up. Is there presets anywhere? I guess these are the presets. Eh, there's not that many. And then we have this, which is, I saw this in a tutorial. This is super interesting. So basically, it makes it so that the melody of what you're speaking, I already have a very melodic voice because I'm from Scandinavia and we sing when we talk, whatever. But uh, if I put this on, I can make myself like sing when I talk even more, which uh, will probably make me sound older too, like a grandma. To eat 
any Snickers, any PB&Js. Basically, nothing delicious is allowed on this flight. And if I take it the other way, it's going to sound very monotone. There is a person with a peanut allergy on the flight. You are not allowed. It's actually really good at pitching really far down. Well, it doesn't sound like autotune at least. Maybe it doesn't sound super reasonable and real. But for example, if I would now do this. Hello, everybody. I have the biggest PP in the world. You can hear my voice and my PP is a large and not a small PP. I have a tiny PP. This <laughs> is so stupid. Okay, guys, that was it. Check out more music stuff here, more other stuff here. And yeah, those are the top of the line voice changers. So I think me and Black Griffin are safe for just a little while longer. Give me a couple more years of being a YouTuber, please. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye.